Hello everyone at Gordon's. Hello. My name is Ollie. And I'm Joe. And we are Camberley Youth for Christ. We are volunteers that work in local schools and local churches, and we are about seeing young people's lives changed by Jesus. And welcome to our Easter assembly. Now, Easter is a strange time of year. Supermarkets are absolutely rammed full with chocolate, Easter eggs, um, and we eat so much chocolate this time of year. What do Easter eggs even mean? What is the reason behind them? And that's what we're going to be exploring in today's assembly. Question, what's your dream Easter egg? Joe. <laughs> I think my dream Easter egg is probably either a Ferrero Rocher Easter egg or a um, Lindor oh. Easter egg. Oh. Ferrero Rocher because they often fill it with Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher stuff. Oh. I do not like Ferrero Rocher. Oh. So oh. Guys, oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Other brands are available. Of course. Of course. Uh, why do you like Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> I don't. I just, I don't know. I just don't like them. Yeah. Um, what about you, Ollie? What's your dream Easter egg? I love anything Cadbury's. I just love Cadbury's chocolate. Probably just... Um, Oh, a massive, huge cream egg. I love cream oh, eggs. I'm not fond of cream massive eggs. Massive one. Oh. We're not doing good at today. We're not, are we? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to hear some uh, thoughts of what young people think their dream Easter eggs are. My dream Easter egg is an Easter egg made of gold, cinnamon. I can keep it forever. Probably be white chocolate, because the only chocolate I like. And probably be like big and filled. No, for more chocolate. My dream Easter egg would probably be a mixture of white chocolate. It would have to be Milky Bar white chocolate and why not add a Mars bar in there as well. Just like I have a midget Mars bar just like in there. My dream Easter egg would be a caramel cream egg but dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. So why do we eat Easter eggs? Like, what's the meaning behind it? Why do we stock full shops full of Easter eggs? Well, we've got some young people giving their thoughts on these questions. And um, we eat Easter eggs because, I'm actually not sure about that, but I'm guessing it's because we love chocolate. Well, I know it's to do with, um, from Christianity, I think it's some celebration, but I never looked into it. They taste good. <laughs> they just, I feel like eating an Easter egg is just like when you eat anything. You eat it because you're hungry, you eat it because you want to. I don't think there's any real reason in behind why we eat an Easter egg, but there might be. You never know. I have no idea. I literally have no idea why at Easter we have, why we have Easter eggs. For Christians, Easter represents new life, like chicks being born. That's the idea of the egg, the Easter egg. It's all about new life. And that's because Christians believe that Jesus is the person who brought this new life. And this is offered to everyone. So, got a question for you guys. If you could wake up with a completely clean slate, all your mistakes, all your wrongdoings gone, what would it mean to you? Oh, that, I think that would mean a lot to me. Personally, I feel I have a lot of regrets and I have made a lot of mistakes and I know that. But I feel like even if I did wake up tomorrow and they were all gone, I don't think it would make much difference to my life anyway because I feel like me being me, I'd go back and I'd still have regrets anyway. I think I would regret getting rid of them more than anything else. I feel like having mistakes in your life is what makes you you. Without the mistakes, how do you really know who you really are? Probably it'd be very freeing and very liberating. I think I'd feel and think differently towards other people. My relationships with people would be different. I think I would be happier with some people. I think I would uh, act differently around some people. I think that will mean a lot to me because I made mistakes that I would like to take back. So that would be pretty cool if they were gone. So, yeah. Okay, I'm done. I think that will mean, you know, uh, a lot where it will be of my, of my heart because um, I think it will be like starting everything all over again. I'll be like, you know, it'll be good because I've it's basically starting everything again and it's just like it's new if I'm fresh and 
yeah, exciting. Forgiveness is the theme of Easter for us as Christians. And in Romans 3.23 it says, for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And then in Ephesians we later read, and also throughout the rest of the Bible as well, we, we read uh, that because of his great love for us, God who is in rich in mercy made us alive in Christ. Even when we were dead in our transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. And in Psalm 103 verse 12, it says, as far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. As Christians, we believe that we've all fallen short of the glory of God, that actually we have made mistakes and that our slates aren't clean. However, as Christians, we believe that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, came to earth as a living sacrifice so that our slates could be wiped clean and that we are 100% forgiven. And this is good news, not just for me, not just for Ollie, not just for people who go to church, but for everybody. Thank you so much for uh, listening to our assembly. We've got some questions for you to discuss in your tutor time. Um, so they will come up uh, at the end uh, of the video. So uh, teachers, you might need to pause this video so you can discuss the questions. And uh, before we end this video completely, we would love for you to check us out on social media. How can they do that, Joe? Um, so you can look on the screen now and hopefully our Instagram and uh, Twitch and TikTok and YouTube and anything else I've forgotten <laughs> yeah. will pop up. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope you have a great day and a happy Easter. Yeah. Bye. Bye.